As COVID-19 continues to create massive disruptions, I appreciate interacting with you every day on the comments as well as the videos we put out. And to give you something to watch, I'm dropping six new videos today. The top five unique wallets along with the individual reviews of each of those wallets. So I hope you enjoy them. Welcome to Wallatopia. Remember to register at wallatopia.info. We send out not only the latest reviews, but also discounts from vendors we negotiate for our Wallatopians. That's you. Wallatopia is where you go when you want to know anything and everything there is about the world of wallets. We purchase all the wallets we review, and uh, the reviews are absolutely our own. So, now today, we're going to do the top five unique wallets. Uh, I mean, what makes them unique? Well, I thought they were kind of unique. It was really what I thought. And uh, we're not doing it on, in our typical way, which is uh, based on their rating or their top rating. They're just kind of cool looking. So let's get into it. First wallet we have is the Scudo Switch. It looks like a brick. It's not. Next one is the Lo Essentiel Bifold Wallet 2. This leather wallet we have here. Next one is the Moral Origin Minima. It's cork. Well, it looks like it. It is. From there, we have the Vice Hardware F1, and that would be for Formula One, and we'll talk about this one. Interesting little wallet. And then finally, what we have is the Form Function Form, and this is the Tri-Slot. It is a neat little wallet, more functionality than you would expect. And so there are five candidates for today. It, it, we're talking about unique wallets, but price. Everyone wants to know about price, so we'll put the price on top of this for you. As you can see, the prices are pretty diverse between what we have here. The Scudo, $88. Lo Essential at $34. That's a, a great deal. Moral Origin, $20. The Vice Hardware, at $98. And finally, the Form Function Form Tri-Slot at $48. Now, the cost of this uh, Scudo switch does change uh, based on the configuration, so that $88 can be higher or lower. Hey, please take the time to subscribe if you want to learn more about wallets before you buy or just love the craft. Subscribe now. What makes each of these wallets unique or clever in how they function. Well, we're gonna go through each one of those for you, so let's start. Here is the Scudo Switch. It's designed and made in the United States. The durability is amazing. This is the first wallet that I have confidence really can outlive you, like we've talked about great full of grain veg tan leather wallets that can. And the weight, although while indicative of what you have, which is a metal wallet, it still doesn't feel super heavy in your pocket. This will last and it will last due to the high quality materials that are used in the full review i didn't have the cash clip yet but i do now so let's put it on and on the back here is where you have the ability to attach the money clip and you can also get a case that does not have this if you're not interested or if you are not sure then get it so you can add add the money clip later so in the magic that is video we will quickly put this on Now, in the full review, um, we didn't have this to, to uh, talk about, but we do now. So cash must be folded twice to either fit in the clip or in the interior, putting in the middle as a way to help actually reduce the noise. Oh, what noise do you say? Well, let me show you. All right, this is the 14 card version. It comes in a 10, 14, and 18, 18 card version. It's kind of cool. Open this up. Notice we have a V here, and it doesn't open up completely, which is nice. I have 12 cards here. We're gonna put these in, and they just fit nicely clicks into place and yeah yeah that's that's the noise we're talking about here and so let me show you how the cash handles that so we open this up grab a little bit of cash here fold it put it in here and now oh yeah now we don't have that problem the cash kind of cushions the cards on the interior here but if you want to put cash on uh, the exterior because we now have this this uh, cash clip then we can do that too by just putting that down like that and here you go ready to go nice looking cash clip and yes this is the second amendment i live out west in the united states i own guns and that's how this works now why is it called the switch well the switch is because we have a plate and this plate can actually be replaced and modified and so i'm sure you're wondering if i have one of those well guess what i do right here the periodic table it's interesting anyway let's uh, show how this works
company recommends 14 cards and you're able to kind of thumb through those cards. Well, okay, let me show you. All right, so if we open this up here, put these cards in. And if you close it, you say, hey, I need to grab my cards. Open this up. You can thumb through your cards. You can just move through them very easily, effortless, effortlessly, because uh, it actually kind of holds onto it at the bottom here and uh, provides that backstop for you. So it's really kind of easy to use. You get in here, find the card you want, pull it out, put it back in, and away you go. So there you go. The Scudo Switch gets its name because you can switch out the plate. Nice, unique wallet. Now, let's move on to the next one. This is the Lo Essential Bifold Wallet 2. Designed and made in Mexico, it's made from one piece of full grain veg tan leather. Let's see what that looks like, that full piece here. This is it, one piece. It's uh, really kind of a great design with this. And due to this one piece, it really reduces complexity, prevents deconstruction due to broken thread or edge uh, sewing, tearing, uh, those kinds of things that go on with this. And this will develop a great patina over time when it's used and it fits in your pocket in a very slim and flat way. Now the ability to secure, to secure and hold cash while in a wrap environment is quite nice. Let me show you. So to take this apart again, we undo the snap, we pull the clasp and here we go. And if we grab some cash, we can easily uh, pull this in here, lay it across and you can just wrap this up, come back, reclasp it and you're ready to go. And with that, you see, you don't have to undo the clasp to get to cash. You can just open it up, get into it here, pull out the cash you want, makes it really convenient. And the company recommends three to 10 cards. Well, cards, how do you think they work in here? It is still a little different, so let me show you this one. On the back, we have the ability for a quick access card slot here. You can get a couple cards in here pretty easy. On the interior, if you wanna put cards in, you can see that we have these slits here and these slots. And really you'd think, oh, I'll just put my cards in like this. But you'd kind of be wrong because I kind of figured that out in the full review. You're gonna to want to take a look at that. This is the way you actually do it. They suggest and demonstrate that it comes from behind, goes in the first slot, and then it secures itself in the bottom that way. Same thing with on the other side. And it can hold more than one card, obviously. That's just the way it shows. And aesthetically, this really looks nice too. It's really not hard to get in, find the card you want and pull it out. And it holds it in a very secure way. So it's not moving around. And the reason that works is let's say, oh, I do want to get to my cash. You undo the clasp, pull this back. Notice how it keeps the cards in check. Well, if this is on the front where it's just like this and you're coming to pull cards out, well, you can see that just doesn't work all that well. So the, rec the recommended way, the way that they, uh, show you here really is the best way to do that is you're then pulling cards out of the way to get your cash. It doesn't uh, cause a problem that way. And thus, uh, that's really the, I, I think it's not hard. It's an easy way to do it. The way to pull the cash out uh, that I showed you here is the way to undo the, cr the clasp quickly in the back and the hardware provided is very durable. It's a brass plated snap and brass clasp. And if you happen to lose this brass clasp on the back here because it's just screwed in, they provide you with another one to, uh, to replace it with, which is a, a nice touch on their part. Now, let's move on to the next wall. This is the Moral Origin Minima. Neat little wallet here. Made in the United Kingdom, we immediately can tell that this one is unique because it's made of cork. And uh, cork is a renewable product, as we know. Now, we're seeing more and more products, including wallets, being designed and made out of cork. But the design of this particular DIY, that's right, do-it-yourself wallet, is also the reason why I felt it qualifies as a unique wallet. Similar to DIY wrap leathers, like um, well, this one right here. See this? This is a wrap wallet that when you put it together a certain way, it all comes together. I'm not gonna do that with this one. You end up with a wallet like this. So let's take this apart. It's all held together by this one brass clasp here. And uh, we take this off. Well, actually it's easier to just take this off the top. There we go. Undo that. And this is in the far back. So if we unwrap this and we allow the clasp on the rear to come out, we can see how this unfolds. And there is our wallet. Now you can get it just like this and put it together yourself, which is so easy. Why would you ever buy this put together? Or you can get it put together. All right, honestly, I did buy it put together. I didn't know at the time. And by putting it together yourself, it's a matter of slipping the clasp here in the back, like this, putting this there, wrapping this around, connecting here, and connecting here. And then you put the clasp back on, the screw, 
And you're back to done again and ready to go. Another clever piece to this, and there's cleverness in all these wallets we're looking at today, is that you can actually increase the capacity of this wallet just through a little design thing they did here. Let me show you. So if we come back to this clasp, we undo this here, and let me undo it so you can see what's going on, but all you need to do is loosen it to make it happen. Right here, we can see that we have this slot right here, and this uh, moves back and forth against the rear screw. And if you want this to be tighter, you move it here. If you want it to be more open and create greater capacity, you move it over here. At which point then you put this back in place and you put the clasp back on tight and it holds it there. But if you want to adjust it, it's a matter of just um, uh, loosening this and moving this back and forth. So with this increased, then you can see we have more material here, which allows this to expand more, which means you can put more cards, cash, and coins. Yeah, I said coins. Coins fit in here too. We'll, we'll show you that. So we'll put a card here in the back. Well, let's put two cards here in the back. Why not? Quick thumb push here, easy to gain access to. If we open this up, we can actually put uh, a few more cards in here. Let's put four more. And you can also put cash. So we'll put uh, two pieces of slips of cash in here. And we can even put some coins. So let's put a couple coins in here and say we're good. And because of the fold right here, it helps keep the coins in, and there you go. This can hold up to three to eight cards. Now they've launched their products via Kickstarter, and they've had very good success, which is great to see for what they're designing. Moral Origins started first as an experiment by John, the creator who is also an astrophysicist graduate, to conduct business ethically through conscious decisions and how they approach production, packaging, and the materials they use. And it is a wonderful design, and it's very sustainable. Love this wallet, so that's our next one. Now, the next wallet. This is the Vice Hardware F1, and that stands for Formula One. So what's not to like about this carbon fiber panel here? It uh, has an interesting design to where you can see, based on tension created by these unique elastic bands here, not the way we typically see elastic used, but this is a great, great way, uh, against these hinge points. It opens up this top and cards fit in here. It's uh, really nice. It's not very sharp, fits in the palm of your hand. It is easy to extract uh, cards in and out of this. And so let me show you how that happens with the card extraction. Let's say you've got a number of cards here and you want to put them in. Well, you can do this a number of ways. The easiest way is to use this to put your middle finger in and then you use your thumb on the bottom on the other side to push this up against the tension. Allows you to slip your cards in here very easily. And then that tension actually via the elastic holds this down. Cards don't come out. And if you want to get a card out, you just do the same way. Reduce the tension, be able to gain access to it. It's made in the United States. This design has several layer components to it. So let me show you that. On the back, <clears throat> where we have the cash clip here, and it's maintained itself by a magnet, we have this plate. It screws into this front plate here underneath yet this secondary plate right here. And then on the back again, we have this band or this bar here, which holds the plate in this uh, cash clip in place and is what secures these elastic pieces here in the bottom. So there's several layers to this, all very uh, time consuming by way of the number of screws involved, but provides so much interest and texture of what we have here in the different designs that it's, uh, it's just a neat piece to, to look at and play with. Like I mentioned, the unique part of this is the way the elastic bands, not your typical elastic bands function here. And the money clip in the back is held by maggots and maintained by this metal strip. Now, if you want a great RFID card, since this doesn't do it by default, you don't want to get an RFID wallet. You know, the, a good option here is this pop-off gauntlet card. It provides RFID functionality without having to actually get it in a wallet. And all you do is put it in your cupboard. You can get 15% off if you use the, the uh, code Wallatopia on their site. Now, smooth to the touch, no sharp corners, and it certainly has a great look to it. They also produce a titanium version, the F-22, obviously after the jet. It's a brighter, um, a different design, definitely innovative. You will enjoy this wallet if you think this is something that might work for you. So, now let's move on to the last wallet. This is the form function form, the tri-slot. This wallet looks odd, and there are others out there like it that are similar, but none that have this clever middle piece right here. Let me show you what it looks like. As you can see, there are three slots. That's why it's called the tri-slot. Outside, middle, and another one on the outside. The clever piece of this is uh, not that it has three slots, it's how it presents your cards, and it's really based on this little piece here. So let me show you. Let's put a card in the outside slot on this side. Let's put another one in the outside slot over here, and let's put one in the middle slot right here, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here. Watch this. 
Huh? Oh wait, it doesn't go down all the way. That's the beauty of this. This provides a bump point here. It leverages this up, is what it does, and so you don't have to work to get to this middle card. All you have to do is just grab it and pull it out. You're not having to remove the front or back cards to, to dig out to get to this middle one. It's really, it's really quite clever. And if we look at this uh, without cards in it, I love the combination of the flesh side leather that's exposed as well as the finished leather. It provides good texture and, uh, and good detail to this. Designed and made in the United States, this is laser cut from a single piece of Horween horse front Mustang leather. That kind of leather gives you very thin, strong, low stretch, and very durable uh, uh, leather. And for an ultra low profile front pocket fit, this is perfect. It's hand stitched, burnished edge over here. It's really nice. Comes in various colors and can be monogrammed. I love the smell of this. I always love the smell of good leather. And the visual combination I mentioned here is so nice to look at. The company recommends up to six cards, which totally makes sense. And they make uniquely designed and expertly crafted products. Now, that is the five. Let's go over some of the technical pieces of this really quick. All right, for size, you can see the sizes as they're listed here. Pretty obvious, and uh, some that are smaller, some that are larger. Now let's show you the weight. Oh, the weight on these things, vastly different. You can see here that the, the Scudo, 129 grams, that is huge, whereas the Moral Origin Minima, 13 grams. I, I mean, there's really some significant differences here. And that wraps up our look at the top five unique wallets. I can't wait to find more interesting wallets. Uh, these are some, I know there's more, so if you come across or you know of some, uh, put them in the comments below, let us know. And make sure you look at the full reviews of each of these wallets. Uh, they're in the description, and you've probably saw the cards as we were going through this. Make sure you go through all those and get a full view of what we just went over today. And if you wanna see the rankings of all the wallets we've reviewed, click on the link up here, or go to Wallatopia info slash rankings. And remember, tell us about a wallet you want us to review. Put it in the comments. We'll see you in the next review, bye.